Star Wars only, I don't know what the fuck your problem is. Hey guys, Star Wars only here. Today I want to talk about what uh, Ewan McGregor recently said in a Vanity Fair article. Vanity Fair had its 25 most influential movie scenes of the past 25 years. And actually one of the scenes was the Revenge of the Sith movie. It was the scene with uh, Obi-Wan and Anakin battling it out on Mustafar. It's a pretty classic scene. A lot of fans do like that from that movie. But Ewan McGregor in this uh, article, he actually gives his take on the perception that has changed from when the prequels were released and to how people look at them now, because the perception has changed over time. And here's what he has to say. Episode 3 was all green screen. They had us on green disc on a green floor with a green background, and a guy on the floor rotating us like chickens as we lunged at each other with lightsabers. What keeps you emotionally grounded is the other actor. Episode 2, I was on my own, speaking the thin air. But this scene was harrowing for Obi-Wan. I lose Anakin, and we see the danger of what it might lead to in episodes 4, 5, and 6. For all my moaning about green screen, I did enjoy playing Obi-Wan in this link to Alec Guinness. George Lucas wanted to do something very different with the prequels. That's why people felt cheated. It was upsetting when people would laugh and joke about it. Now, many years later, the prequels meant a lot to the generation that were kids then. So from smirking, cynical opinions, now I'm getting feedback from the kids they were made for. And I'm really happy about it. And I like what he has to say here, because I, for one, am not the biggest fan of the prequels. I don't think they're great films. I think episode three was a good one, but the first two were just, eh, they, they weren't done well. But I understand what a lot of people like about them. It's not, you know, they were executed poorly, but they had a lot of great moments and almost you know, some magic into them, you know, in terms of the worlds that were built and the interest that we have from those worlds. You look at Coruscant, we're all interested in that. But I like how Ewan McGregor talks about how when he has another actor, like Hayden in episode three with him, it helps him build the emotion. And you can really see that. I mean, in, in that scene with, you know, Obi-Wan telling Anakin he was his brother and everything, that was really emotional for a lot of people. And it's an emotional scene. I mean, we all like that in general. And that's one of the most emotional scenes in the Star Wars universe right now. But Ewan it do does admit that, you know, back when the prequels were released, they were received poorly. But as time has gone on, as people who are my age now, who grew up with the prequels, they love them because that's what they watched as kids. That's what really got them into Star Wars. It was their modern day Star Wars. And it it was magical for a lot of those kids. It was their childhood. It's the nostalgia factor of liking these films. And from the prequels, we got The Clone Wars. And every fan, well, not every fan, but most fans love The Clone Wars. And they're, they're really popular nowadays. So it's nice to see someone like Ewan McGregor, who came from the prequel era. He's not really crapping on the fans who didn't like the prequels. Like me, let's say, because I, I don't really like them that much. He's not coming out here saying, you know, I'm racist, sexist, or misogynist for not liking it. I'm a man baby. Like some of the modern day Star Wars people are doing now, he, he's saying the truth of, you know, hey, I went from these cynical opinions and, you know, that was upsetting, but now it's happy to hear that kids who grew up with the prequels love them. And they they are the people who we made those films for. Because that's what George Lucas did say is that, you know, they're meant for 12 year olds. And I completely disagree with him on that because there's completely other factors that went into it. And, but that, that's a whole nother conversation. But in general, Ewan McGregor, he's he's hitting the bullseye with, with this quote right here, and I, I like that, because right now what we're seeing is that the actors from the prequels, like Hayden, like Ewan, right now, they're saying, hey, you know, it, it sucks that people didn't like the, like the films at the time, but they're not crapping on them, and they're not being like, oh, these are the worst fans in the world or anything. They're just saying, hey, that sucks, but the people who do like them, that's what we want to focus on. We want to focus on the positive aspect of it, and I, I like that. I, I really like the optimism that these people have especially when it comes to talking about Star Wars nowadays. And I really do hope Ewan McGregor does reprise his role as Obi-Wan, because I do think he, he was a great Obi-Wan. I mean, it's hard to say that from the prequels that he did a bad job. I don't think he was a great character in Episode 1, but that's just because of the way the script was written. But in Episodes 2 and 3, he shines. I mean, Ewan McGregor is a great actor to this day. And so, it's nice to hear this. But tell me your thoughts below. What do you guys think about all this? Do you like hearing Ewan McGregor uh, talk, talk about the fans that have now really appreciated the prequels growing up? And, and it's nice to see that he is seeing that as well. It's nice to know that the prequel fans are actually getting out there and saying, hey, we like this now, and you know, people who worked on Star Wars recognize that. And, you know, we, don't, we haven't had that in a long time. It's probably since 2010 um, that we haven't had that. And so nine years later, we're, we're, finally getting, we're finally getting the positive stuff about the prequels kind of out there now. And is that due to the Disney sequels? We, we don't know. But tell me your thoughts below in the comments. Uh, I'm Star Wars Only. I hope you guys enjoyed this little talk we had. I'll see you all next time, and may the Force be with you always.